Good afternoon. I hope everyone is well. And I am just turning the camera on today to just have a session of making tags and journal cards because I have found I don't have any. So I went through, I know I have lots of printed stuff here already, so I wanted to pull some out to embellish, but I printed more because I haven't got much left. So, oh, I did have some of those. So I'm going to pull out these. I'm going to use these first. Maybe not those ones. And then I printed out more because I know I haven't printed out some of my kits for a while. So there's the, the pink one and the coral and green one, I think it was, my French one, um, some different tags from my botanical kits. Um, was that not Italian churches? What did it, what was that? Oh, the illuminated manuscripts. And then, yeah, so just a whole variety of papers because I, I know that I've used most of, most of those up. So I'll just put those on the and we're going to do some of these. So this one's been cut into, so I'll just take that one off. These ones are printed on um, 120 GSM paper. This is copy paper. So the copy paper prints out just as well. But I want to do a few of these. And then um, we'll do some tags as well. And I might do these the fun way, where you collage on the back. And then um, get the surprise when you cut it out. I think I'm going to do it that way. Um, if you don't like watching collaging, uh, this is not the video for you and you may move on. Move right on to something else. Don't even bother to stop and pass go. Just keep on going. There we go. I said it. No negative Nancys. Oh, not, my, not my nice Nancys, but you know the expression negative Nancys uh, are allowed on this channel. Everybody has to be nice. Okay, so I'm going to take a large expanse of this, but not that large, because it'll be the whole thing, and glue that down. And I'm just going to put my glue directly on here, just getting cracking right into it. I'm not going to, even though this is on copy paper, this one, I'm not going to reinforce it, because once, once the collaging dries, it stiffens. So... It's a glorious day. It's hard. It's about 23, 24 degrees. There's a bit of a breeze. It's hot in the sun, but cool in the shade. So I really like it. And my house is a bit cool. So that's why I've got a card, a very light cardigan on. This is like my ideal weather. I love this weather. This is my fave. So I'm thinking I need um, things that can kind of be written on in the background. So, what was that envelope? I have to do something with that. Oh, I've got a bit of Tracy Fox here. Let's put a bit of that. Now, I'm just tearing it just to make a, a point of interest. I'll glue around the... I'll put, I'm putting glue on there, even though I put glue all over the other thing as well. Um, where it overlaps on the other paper, it, there won't be any glue, so... I'll just use my card to flatten it. And then we need large expand. Wait, I had some other papers. Got this nice pink paper. This was a fabric and I think I made it pink. I can't remember. So I need to get rid of the white bits. Doing very rough tearing here. So how is everybody? Make my light. I think the light's very funny today. Just, I guess it's this, you know, the more summery sort of light. It just feels different. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with my tag. Do, you know, to make it a little bit different. I don't know. It's over the edge. Bullion stitch over the edge. Well, I did it over the edge of my washer rings, didn't I? So I've kind of done it, but. I'll have to come up with something tomorrow, won't I? After this, I might have to stop and have a think about it. Okay, I like those all together. And then, what else do we have? 
Oh look, you could even you could even glue on a doily. Actually, I want to put something else first though. Let's grab a piece of tea dyed paper and that can go. So how is everyone? I hope you're all well and crafting away, having a good time. Don't have much to tell you, just took Lulu to school this morning. I can't tell you the traffic. The traffic was shocking. Everybody's out and about now. Everyone's being let loose. Everyone's being let loose. People cutting you off. You know, the norm. Just the norm. People cutting you off in a hurry, swinging from left to right, right on your tail behind you, trying to push you along, make you go faster, all that sort of, st all that jazz. Put that that way. Mm, it's so pretty. Make sure it's all stuck down. I need one piece there. And what will I use? Let's see if I've got something small in here. That's going to be perfect. Nothing like a random piece of paper. So, yeah, I really haven't... Oh, that's no... Well, I'll stick something else over there. really haven't had too much to sort of tell everyone. Because not, not a lot is happening. I think I'll just stick that. No, not that one. just to cover up that boo-boo. Okay, so now we can cut these out. And I've got instant journal cards. I just need to put, um, I just need to put a focal point on them. Yeah, so I think if you've printed them on copy paper and then you do the collaging on the back, you really don't need to reinforce them because they'll dry stiffish. Hey, my tummy just made a noise. I wonder if you could hear that. It was pretty loud. And Lulu's out roaming about town. She hasn't done that for a long time, so uh, she was pretty excited about that. And school is nearly finished. It's going to be finished. Next week is the last week, but I tell you what, they're interrogating them right to the end. And I may come back and just sort of snip off the corners and things like that. So let's have a look. So that's that one. That one. I like that. This one here. It's so much fun. I like doing it this way. And that one there. Okay. So there's instantly for journal cards. And we've done a bit of work on the reverse side. Let me just throw out. The bits here. I'm going to try and keep myself in order without becoming too messy. If that's at all famous last words, I think. I don't know if that's at all possible. Um, so I would do that on these here as well. Stick that there. Let's just put some glue everywhere. I've 
got to remember I've got things in the oven. I may need to pause my video and just doing a bit of food prepping for our lunch. Okay, and I think I'll just I'll hold it up. That nearly covers the whole thing. I think I'll put this old piece of paper. Okay, now, oh, we also have these. I think I'll stick one of those on the back of one. Oops, that was very interesting tear. Just trying to see on my glue page where there's not too much glue. stick that one there Stick that right across there and we'll see what happens. Oops. Nearly lost my glue on the floor. I'm really surprised. Like I literally pulled out, after finishing off Juzy's um, journal yesterday, I pulled out um, my ephemera box and really there wasn't much of what I needed in there. I thought I had more. That there. Just having a look to see what else there might be. just going to take a little bit off oh gosh I didn't take too much off did I so is it already really hot in wherever you guys are or I know the UK is probably fairly cool um, it's been fairly cool here as well which I'm very happy about but um, there's lots of parts in the States that I know that it get become hot very quickly and I know in Australia, it's already, it's autumn, so I guess it's cooling down. Just trying to see if that will cover that bit up there. I've got this here. I'm just lifting it up because I can see in the light um, where it is and that can go there because there's a big gap between the two rows of 
tags. So just seeing where I need to put my paper to get the most out of it. Did I use? I used up all the... Oh, here's some more. Now that's cardstock. Um... And then we only need a small piece. across there Very pretty. Okay. So that's almost, I like that with the little hint of that. Cool. That one's got a little gap there, so we'll just fix that. a little piece. Okay, finished off my glue. Okay, we've got that one. That one. And then that one. Okay, cool. So there's a whole set of tags really quickly. They'll need a, a, maybe a, a topper on them. Okay, and then I have some of these incomplete things that I need to complete now. That's supposed to be a tag or journal card, I should say, but they're a funny shape. These were all in my pocket, in my, not my pocket, in my box. That's a good one. Okay, so that 
me just see. I put on my, oh, they're right in front of my face. Let me just see what I had here already cut out. Oh, I like these. Yeah, I'm going to put that there and maybe some maybe some script I might use my corner rounder for this one. Okay. What else? Oh, I wanted to make this into a, a nice long tag or journal card, but I'm just going to tear a bit off the bottom. I think I'll glue that to the back of this paper. Oh, yeah, I think I like those colours. So, This is just copy paper on copy paper, so I hope it's going to stiffen a little bit. I'm going to cut that bigger. And then I want to put something down here, I think. Uh, not those. Let's just have a look. too big yeah I think I'll stick that one there I don't want to quite yeah I like it there I don't want to co cover all of that up okay so let's see what other pages I have here. If I might like to make them into this one. I'll use this one. So some of these with a bit more imagery on them are very nice to make into tags or journal cards. So 
for I think I might what I might do with that page is um, put some sort of more I'm going to glue that there to start off with make sure I get glue everywhere and then I'm going to cut it down see what we get Okay. Stick that one along there. Just trying to go as quickly as I can so we don't take too long doing the, the reverse side. getting there I'm going to put that one over there Then I need something just for down here. Okay, so let's see how we're going. Now I'm going to get my cutter. Oopsie. I'm not going to use my tear ruler because it's wet and it'll just make a mess. Let's see. There's that's a journal card. Actually, that can be a journal card, that's pretty. I might add something to it. We'll look at the back in a minute. And 
I'm going to cut this one there. Nice big journal card. That one needs embellishing and that one. So we've got four things. Isn't that pretty? So I'm just going to pause the video. I've got to go and check what's in the oven and then I will come back. So I'm back. Lucky I went because they were done. So I was just roasting some... Oh, we didn't look on the back. Some cubed um, sweet potato and then also some carrots. I'm, on the sweet potato, I put um, just a tiny bit of garlic powder, not even a quarter of a spoon. And that's one big sweet potato cut up into cubes. A tiny, tiniest bit of salt and olive oil. And then, and then I just put them on the baking paper and then just roast them in the oven and they're really yummy and we have them in our salad. And then also carrots cut up into sort of that sort of same sort of size as what the potatoes would be cut up into. And, uh, and they have on them uh, turmeric and what's it called? Oh, turmeric, cumin and paprika. And then a tiniest bit of salt and olive oil. And they are so yummy. And we just roast, I just roast them until they're sort of golden. Sort of, you know, a little bit crunchy, tiny bit. And um, and yeah, and then I just put them in glass, you know, fridge, fridge containers. And then we just put them in our salads. And I make a, um, we do cook up some farro or orzo. And put a few spoons of that in the salad, some greens, and oh, I roast up, I cut up I, into cubes also an eggplant and put just a tiny bit of salt and pepper on that and olive oil, and that's being roasted right now. And that one, you need to make it till it go, it's like a little bit um, crispy, um, because otherwise then it's kind of soggy. But if you do it till it's a little bit crispy, um, it's really yummy in the salad as well. And so, yeah, do the greens and then throw a, like a spoon of each of those in and and then whatever else. And sometimes a boiled egg or you can add, you know, chicken or whatever you like. And then make a tahina sauce with um, a lemon, a half a cup of tahina, um, a whole lemon, half a cup of water, like a quarter of a teaspoon of um, garlic powder and quarter of a teaspoon of chili flakes i use cayenne cayenne pepper chili flakes and and then just shake it up in a little bottle and you have super yummy dressing for your salad so we have that quite often it's really really and you can prep like i prep it all and then we have it for you know we do different variations throughout the week like we'll have different um, quantities of each thing and then add, you know, maybe have the egg and then another time something else and and it just varies but it, it's in, in, Lucy's like don't you get bored and I'm like well not really because each time you make it it just tastes that little bit different because you've got different quantity of each thing in or you've got a different sort of protein in there or something like that I'm just looking for something to add a little bit more to these I think I really like that there. So I just look up um, recipes on Pinterest, really, just like um, roast veggie sort of recipes or anything, those sorts of things, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I love using paprika and cumin and turmeric um, and the, the different garlic and sometimes onion powder but not often unless I'm doing something sort of with more Mexican sort of flavors um, and they just it just adds that extra flavor to something that could be could be boring so I think that's just so pretty I think I might just put a nice tab on there and we've got to embellish this one let me just look at this one if it, this might like to have this piece here there on the side put it there so 
so yeah if you've got a nice collage sheet um, from someone that's a nice way to get some interesting um, sort of journal cards out of it now here we need to put some more on there and I'm thinking I might like I'm not sure but I might like a little bit of really old book page I think I like it here. Put that there. So it's a really fast, super fast ephemera, isn't it? And then I don't think I want doilies. I think I might like a bird, if I've got one. A bird or some sort of imagery. I've got one that goes or well, that you know it might go but it's not the right size because that happens quite often too because I've been using them I've printed out more birds so I need to do some fussy cutting no that's not the right bird I love that bird that one's quite nice Nothing like a good bird to embellish a journal card. I like that one. Yep, I think it's that one, the bigger one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Okay. There's just so many nice things to work with, isn't there? I mean, there's just not enough time to use everything love that okay so now I think it will do we'll put some sort of tabs on them let me just see I saw in here I had a few little interesting hand stitch things oh no they're too big I don't know where I put my other hand stitch things oh there's a handmade button that I made huh can't remember when I made that Okay, I mean that is really, I really like that, I do like that on there. I think that's going on there, but it's just, it just happened to fall there and that's where it's going. And I don't want it on the side, I want it here. Okay, that's, that one's done. Cool. And that will go in a pocket like that in a nice big journal. I love that. Really nice. Okay, and it's got some hand stitching on it. Now, what about here? I have this lovely little, isn't that a beautiful button? I can't remember. It might have come from Pam or something. See, this could go on something like this. Maybe something, maybe this one. Not that one, maybe this one. Yes, I like the colours more on this one, so I need to. I think I put my glue in here. Okay, and that needs to dry. I can feel the glue oozing out, otherwise, it'll stick to something. Um, not everything. I don't put tabs on everything, but I do put them on a few things. Um, oh, wait. I like to put ruffles on too sometimes. I haven't done that for a while. Just a little piece of ruffle even. 
can look nice on top of on the top of something. Now this tag, this journal card could be one like that there. So that can go be one that you pull out on the side. Okay. Put that one over there. Now that one, I'm not going to put anything on there. It's really long and it'll be shooting out the top of some book. Now this one. I just even love this old cotton. I think that's really going to be really nice. I'm going to put that right across there. So just little bits and pieces left over from old uh, pillowcases that I've pulled apart and used on the spines of journals then I just go and raffle those bits if I don't want to do any other stitching with them we can put something on this one maybe not a ruffle we've done the ruffles if I don't have one of these that I feel is suitable I will quite like that one the twile paper it was I would just you know punch another in, in a different paper so pretty I really like them good thing because otherwise it would have been a frustrating session if I didn't like what I made Okay, oh, that one's over there. I love that one. I don't know if I'll be able to part with that one. I'm just going to grab my box of somewhere. Don't tell me it's there. No, that's not it. I knew it was underneath that other one over here. was Lulu's tin she came to the antique market with me and she when she was smaller and she wanted all these tins so I bought them for her and she kept all her bits and pieces in them but now she doesn't want them anymore so I took over them why not so here we go this is what we need I forgot about these oh, I totally forgot about these there's lots of cool things in here to see if I had any of the hand stitched ones but I don't okay so let's see here like something like that I know it's plain but I'm going to put that on a tag and I'll probably put that on a tag and I'm thinking this might be nice on a journal card So we've made this. This is my sort of my sort of take on the snippet with gluing the strip underneath, and then this one was all fabric, and then I have ones with mixed with paper, and I just put them on a paper background. I love those, and I keep forget. I forgot about them. I did completely forget about them. I want that one on there. They're just this more plain sort of one. Sometimes I just stitch across too, just to make sure that they stay on. But this, I'm using the, the tacky glue. I'm sure they'll be fine. Just getting the glue off my finger. That one I'm not going to put anything on because the butterfly is right at the top there and I don't want to interfere with that. This one I may put, let's see what I've got here. So you just look for a bit that you feel like goes. You cut them off, big bits, small bits. Whatever you feel like. And I like that colouring more than the more stark white. And I know I'm covering up these pretty flowers, but you, know, you can print it up again and do it a different way the next time. I do like them with the... That one I'm going to leave. 
This one I'm going to stick that on, I think, that way. I've been glue all over my table. I'll have to give that a clean, won't I? So that's that one. I'll just put this away. And then I didn't like the shape of it. Oh, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to, else I'm going to do? Snip the corners because I like that more. There we go on that one because it was a bit regular. Now I do have these and I didn't, was I going to do anything on these? I could do a little, this one probably not. Oh, well, I could. Let's just do these and then and then we'll end up the video. So there's that one. Got plenty made. Actually, this is coming off. This is baking paper. Baking paper needs something more than glue stick, I think. Okay. Right, let's have a look at these. We'll just quickly embellish up these shouldn't take too long. Got flowers. I don't think I want to add more flowers. You never know though. I like to audition. As you know, auditioning is necessary. It's a necessary evil. <laughs> I don't think we need, we've got flowers on there. I, I don't know why I'm looking at flowers. Let's stop auditioning the flowers. those over there chuck that over there move the scraps you could add a scrap like you could add some book page I don't really want to add my German book page though because these are quite Italian okay well we do have birds and we have smaller birds we don't want such big birds let's just put them out like this hopefully you can see I've got the sun shining in here Oh, I love that. That that one's going to go on there. Okay. Well, that was lucky. That one, no, I'm not using that one. Not using that one. Not the wrong colour. To cut his tail off. Oh, I love this bird too. I love that bird. Oh, I like that bird on there. Okay, well, we're having bird ones. So far, we might then move to the butterflies. They're too big. That one's going to be too big. That one blends in too much. Not the right type. I promise I will be moving to the butterflies in a sec. Just need to see that. That's one of my favourite birds there as well. I do quite like that one. It's quite nice. Oh, I love these guys. These fellas in the Aussie. And then there's that one. the birds come in all sizes they do aren't we lucky rightio let's look at the i'm getting sick of looking at the birds i'm sure you're sick of, sick of looking at the birds as well we'll get into the butterflies that one's too big i'll tell you why i reject them that's a good size wrong color this one's going to be too big Actually, I quite like that one. Okay, well, that one can sit there for a minute unless it, it something else replaces it. Too big. This one, for this one, it's too big because we've got that lovely flower there. Hopefully, you can see what I'm looking at because if I were off screen this whole time, that would be a bit of a blow, wouldn't it? A bit of a disaster. Quite like that one. But this one. I like that one more. Okay. There we go. I've made my decision. So let's glue them down. And then we will see what kind of, if they're going to be just journal cards without a tab or journal cards with a tab. And then if so, what tab are they going to have? I love that. Who'd have thought to put that there? It just happened. That's that 
one. Now that I've done this, I probably don't have the right size for what I need. Oh, I, oh my goodness, I've nearly ripped the butterfly's head off. It's okay. All's good. Can go back together. Okay, I like that one. Corners. The sun's coming in here now. I'm not used to that. It doesn't happen in winter time. Okay, and then we'll do this one. So I've got to find a non-sticky spot because the sticky spots tear things off. That one's going to go that way. Steffi made these journal cards. He's a very clever chook, isn't he? It's a clever one. Right. Okay. And corner, I think those corners are all good. Okay, so there's the journal cards. Now, do we want any sort of tab on them? My oven just turned off. That's okay. I'll go and turn it on in a minute. We've got can have this bit here. An embroidery bit there. We won't do them all the same. I was just thinking this one might be doesn't really have much space. Oh there. That's where that one's gonna oh I could put it like that. That way. Or that way. No, that way. Okay. Let's put it on here. Good. I think I like these colours with this one. I'm going to put that up there as well. Mm, I think I like these colours with that one. Kind of on the bottom if I put it there. There, that's it. And with this one, what I don't like is the paper on the back, so I'm going to have to fix that. And what I can do is just grab some sort of scrap like that and then just glue it on there. So I better check the others, they don't have any modern, colourful super colorful papers on the back and that also makes it hold better let me just see here well i don't like that either so let's just get a bit of something on there as well just that one this one Oh, we can have the same paper there. Oh gosh, nearly all sticky my big page here. Just going to check them all quickly. That one I don't. Oh, I don't mind. I don't like that either. I'll have to fix them all. not too bad that's all right okay these so this one can have I like those colors because then the thing is you need to you don't want to put you want to put something that sort of works with what's on the back as well don't you I like that this one no problem you can put whatever you like On this one I might put that, but I'm going to tear a bit more off it. Again, another way to use up these little pieces. This is why we cannot throw them out. We just can't do it. Stick that on there. And, and it just makes that stay, doesn't it? And then we've got one more to do. 
and I might put this one. Okay, and one more to do. I just want to see what's in here. I think I like the splash of glue on there. Where's my non-sticky bit? that was a good session well it was for me I don't know about you but it was a good session for me got a lot done okay so there's that one this one here this one look at this love that I did that on a video with you guys a while ago that's my favorite although I like this one too look at that they're just such pretty papers then they're just simple, just collaged on the back. That one out of the butterfly, this one, love that. Love the colours. I chose the, that because of the blue and the green and the red. This one, the greys, love that. Here I liked these sorts of colours here with all of this sort of background. I felt like that sort of goes with the colors also in the embroidery there simple ruffle is always lovely there and then that was I think I made this in a video when we did the hand stitching it's still wet and I stitched the button on there so there we go so I hope you enjoyed that that's my little crafty video today hope you enjoyed it it's just checking in and saying hello and see what you're all up to and tomorrow will be will be the um hashtag 52 tags handmade handmade so yeah and I've got to go away and think about that now because otherwise I won't know what to do and I'll have to delay my video okay so I hope you enjoyed that I got a bit done so I'm pretty happy and I will see you tomorrow have a great day bye